Hey everyone, it's Skizix here, your casual exile. I know there's a lot of new players coming over to play Path of Exile, and uh, I wanted to create a guide that would help you know some of these new people. And you know the teaching that the guide here is going to be uh, some of the hidden vendor recipes that may come in handy to those that are unaware of them. So the first one is a chaos recipe, mm -hmm. and what this entails is s s vendoring a set of uh, items uh, with the item level of 60 to 74 either identified or unidentified and I'll get into why those two reasons are important so the item level needs to be between 60 and 75 for the chaos recipe and they can be identified or unidentified and you will get a chaos orb now the reason I describe being identified or unidentified is if you uh, sell a full set of gear of item level um, 60 to 75 you will get two chaos orbs and if they're identified you'll get one so as you can see here uh, these are all item levels between 60 and 75 and this can be done with a pair of boots gloves uh, a helmet belt, two rings, amulet, and a weapon. The weapon can either be two-handed or it can be two one-handers, as you can see here. So we don't have a chaos orb. Two weapons gives us a chaos orb. So that can be very useful. Now with that being said, you can also do this with regal, uh, with regal orbs. So if you need regal orbs, uh, all that was just described can be done the same way, but all the items need to be item level 75 or higher. And they can be identified or unidentified. But the being un unidentified, you get two. Being identified, you get one. If even just one piece of gear is identified, you'll only get one. Okay. The next um, vendor recipes that I find very useful, especially for people that are maybe in their maps or trying to find the best way to shape your map, if you've heard this terminology, and there's uh, a few recipes that we're going to go over that can help those that may have made a mistake and need to change something about their atlas. So first we're going to start out with the unshaping orb, and this requires 20 cartographers, ch chisels, and 5 orb of regrets, and this gives us an unshaping orb. So if you're doing, like let's say you get a memory fragment and it's tier 1, and you've taken that shaper orb that Zana gave you, and sh you've shaped your tier 1 channel map, and now it's a tier 6, you can sell these 20 chisels and 5 regrets to get an unshaping orb, and then you right click on that unshaping orb, and remove that uh, shaped channel and you in turn get your shaper orb and can reshape, reshape another tier 1 map. Now this can be used on any shaper or shaper orb tier so let's say if you want to move your your shaped T11 you can you would take your uh, you know your tier 5 shaper orb because you put it on a tier 6 map and unshape it. Uh, so that's how you do that. And then the other one are uh, cartographer seals, and you have three of them. So you take a you take three apprentice cartographer sextants, sextants and one scouring orb, and this gives you a uh, apprentice cartographer seal, which allows you to uncomplete a white map that you've completed on your atlas. Now this goes all the way up to uh, journeyman and master card target master sextants. So the journeyman are yellow maps or white maps. So you can do with uh, journeyman cartographer seal. You can do um, up to yellow maps. So tier one through ten, uh, and the apprentice ones you can only do tier one through five maps, and then. The Master Cartographer seal allows you to uncomplete any map on the Atlas at all. So some of these are very unknown. So I'm making a quick video to to tell people on how you may want to do that, and because shaping strategies can be very very useful and very profitable. Uh, 
and these are ways that we can change our maybe we're getting bored of a certain map and we want to change things around and maybe uh get better better drops uh from a different map and just change up the scenery right so i hope these uh tips have been helpful uh i didn't know a lot about these myself so i figured i'd make a video to put it out there for those that may not know uh, i hope this is helpful and uh, in the description below you can find my twitch because i stream live uh, you can check out my my current build and my Path of Exile profile is also in the description if you want to check out some of my uh, characters. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. And remember, play the game casually because it's the best way to play.